Hi, everyone. It is September 28, 2019. I want to pass along some information and go over some information that is very, very important. You all might know of this information, but if you don't, uh, it will be new. And if you do, maybe you could get it through to some of the people in your life that, yeah, are reality is created by the powers that be. All right, the first video, I'm going to play a little bit of this. Seattle. Seattle. November 3rd. High watch date. Stay vigilant, friends. Now, this was uh, mirrored by Shaking My Head Productions. And... I guess it was posted by Brother D44. Okay. He decodes a lot of, you know, the, um, those fabulous, uh, like the Simpsons and the movies and a whole lot. And he has come up with some kind of false flag attack on. November 3rd in Seattle. Can I verify any of this? No. Is it important to know? Yeah, it is. We certainly know about 9-11, which I will play a little bit of this video to remind you and play a little bit of what he has uh, going on November 3rd. It, it, look, just be alert, understand, to those who throw out the comments, you're just fear-mongering. I'm bringing you information. You can do with the, with the information as you so choose. I do think that it's really important for everyone to get in their psyche that we are at war and that anything can happen at any moment. That's what happens when you're at war. And just because it's an unconventional war does not mean we're not at war. Okay. Um, let me just play a little bit of this video. The time. The text appears in the third minute and 44 seconds of the video. The third day in the 44th calendar.
That's it. Okay. I just want to point out, uh, and this I'm going to go over in a little bit uh, more detail. This, uh, and where is it? Here it is. Ah, uh, what is this? Well, it's a little map <clears throat> to let you see that our mainstream media is controlled by the CFR, Council on Foreign Relations. Okay, now let's see if you uh, go down to the bottom, you will see here the abbreviations that you see next to the pictures. A B is Bilderberg Meeting Participant. BR, Bilderberg Meeting Rapporteur. C, CFR Member. D, CFR Director. Okay, it goes on. CFR Member. Let's look at NBC. Where are you, NBC? Right there. NBC. Ah. Ah, Joe, morning coffee. And, uh, yeah, the uh, daughter of, uh, wow, my memory is going. Brzezinski. I can't believe. <laughs> wow. All right. I got to post a video telling you guys what's going on with my brain and ask any of you if the same thing is going on. Um, all right. Mika Brzezinski and Joe Scarborough, they are members of the CFR. What does that mean? They get their instruction from the CFR. Council on Foreign Relations controls our mainstream media and all of these people, they get direction from that CFR. You know, it's kind of like Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Council on Foreign Relations. Thank you very much, um, Richard, and I am delighted to be here in these new headquarters. Um, I have been often to, uh, I guess, the mothership in New York City, uh, but it's good to have an outpost of the council right here down the street from the State Department. Uh, we get a lot of advice from the council, so this will mean I won't have this far to go to uh, be told uh, what we should be doing and uh, how uh, we should uh, think about the future. Rick? Wow. Wow. What we should be doing? And, uh, what we should be doing? Huh. Yeah. The Council on Foreign Relations dictates to our officials, to our mainstream media, what they should be reporting, and to our government officials, what they should be doing. Okay. Uh, so when I saw that little clip with Joe and Mika talking about Seattle, one million people dying. Okay. Uh, if you are in or around Seattle, maybe you'd like to take a vacation on the third. But prepare um, for anything. You know, look, will something happen? No one knows. You know, did anybody know, based on all of the very clear evidence that we were receiving in uh, TV shows and movies over the years before 9-11, did we see what was in our face? No. Okay, so when you see someone who is seeing what is in their face, and you'll have to watch this video, then you take note of it. All right, I'm gonna play a little bit more. There's one clue that is paramount and draws all other clues. 
It's the Economist cover from 2015. The Economist is a magazine that is published by the Rothschild dynasty. There are a lot of quotes and hints on this cover that are always related to Seattle. I cannot explain to you in a few minutes so great and I will link below. Um, it's especially for you guys at Washington. Please watch and just be aware, be alert, and yeah, take a take a day trip um, on the third. These people are so profoundly sick. They could pull off anything. We've we have already learned that. Now, land of the giants. Okay. Um, a subscriber wanted me to pass this along. We need to talk about this, and I'm not going to play it. But he has a film clip of what appears to be a giant. I do know that they can create a whole lot uh, now in film, so I don't know. But 
he would like to um, discuss it, so please click on the link below. We need to talk about this and watch the video. And if you so choose to talk about it uh, with Deep in the Word, that would be good. Okay. I also received this uh, from a subscriber. Now, Putin warns Western governments are destroying the planet with chemtrails for control and profit. Video. Ah, video. Well, I went through the videos and not one video is about Putin saying anything. So, where did this come from? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have people still leaving comments. Trump stopped the chemtrailing. Really? Okay. Um, and people leaving comments that they heard Trump say that he was going to stop the chemtrails. Well, I have asked for, you know, a link, uh, a source, something. I have not received it from anyone. And this, first of all, I want to say, don't appreciate a headline like this. And then it says video, and then you expect to see a video with Putin saying this, and you don't. And, well, where is the source of this information? Now, I'm not saying he didn't say it. He apparently said it at some charity. Um, he said he's deeply concerned about the uneducated risks of altering our planet's climate and that it posed a monumental threat that was against nature and all in the pursuit of population control and profit. Now, I find it um, almost hard to believe that Putin would come out and say something like this. Um, but, you know, uh, stranger things have happened. Um, said that it's a, the greatest assault on the Earth's life and health in human history, which it is. So, uh, it's remarkable that the American government is still refusing to acknowledge their operations. Yes, it truly is. But what is really more remarkable is that the American people who are getting sprayed pretty much on a daily basis and wow, well, they're just not recognizing that there is a radical change in our sky just right above. All they have to do is lean their head back and look. Ah, but they don't recognize it. Uh, it's not only offensive it is against nature. Okay, uh, but there's no source. And that always kind of irritates me. There's other articles, Putin blasts, geoengineering is dumb and unnatural. This is back in 2017. Uh, but again, where is the source? So Vladimir Putin has officially been vindicated. He's been officially vindicated, vindicated by recent news reports. And the news reports are of uh, the spraying of the atmosphere, the, the geoengineering, you know, the experiments coming out of Harvard. Well, that, uh, we need a source here. Okay, so uh, Putin was referring to news in Western media concerning the 20 million Harvard University project. Um, I don't know what to do, you know, with information like this. Here back in 2017, again, um, news punch and speaking at a charity fundraiser in his hometown, St. Petersburg. Putin was asked if Western government's atmospheric spraying operations and weather uh, manipulation programs 
represent the greatest assault on the Earth's life and health in human history. Putin said it doesn't matter if it is the greatest threat or the second or third. What matters is that it is an assault. It is a serious assault. And, well, the writer of this, Baxter Dimitri, he's a writer at Your News Wire. He covers politics, business, entertainment. Uh, okay, well, he said this at a charity. Okay, well, sorry, for me, that's not enough. So, I don't know why, you know, people do what they do, but they do it. And this is really a manipulation, and I don't like being manipulated. Okay, so, um, huh. where is that? Chilling report reveals that just a handful of mega corporations control the fate of the world. Don't we know this? We do know it, right? You do know that corporations, uh, transnational corporations now pretty much run the world with bankers and they run governments and, well, they have a whole lot of money, so they pay lobbyists to write the legislation and then hand it to our representatives in Congress for them to introduce as bills. That's how it's working now. Those representatives certainly have very cushy jobs, don't they? They don't even write their own legislation. Now, I don't know if it's true for every one of them, but it's certainly true for the majority. So this is a 2019 study primarily focused on the influence that multinational corporations have over the biosphere and critical issues surrounding sustainability, but also revealed just how dependent the world is on transnational corporations. You know, when Trump, his first year, Oh, he pulled us out of uh, the Paris Agreement. Really? Well, did he really? When you have over 500 mayors in the United States, and uh, I'm not sure how many governors, the last time that I posted on this, I think it was 10 governors, they all had signed on to the Paris Agreement and you don't hear anything from Trump about those mayors of cities, like the mayor of Anderson, South Carolina. Oh, he signed on to the Paris Agreement. Huh. So that little mayor here in little Anderson, South Carolina, signs on to a international treaty, and that's the president's job, but you don't hear anything from Trump regarding all those mayors signing on to the Paris Agreement. So doesn't matter what people say. It matters what they do, and it matters what's happening. What's happening is all agendas continue to go forth regardless of who is in the White House. And wow, those agendas, have you noticed the speed with which they are working them now? Climate change their deadline, 2030, they're getting impatient, they want the job done. So, uh, multi, oh, so Trump comes into office and, and claims that he got us out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP, remember so many of us posting on TPP, how it would hand over sovereignty of nations to transnational corporations. And all the Trump supporters were, wow, wow. He pulled this out of the TPP. Oh, no, he didn't. Staged acting. <clears throat> That's what he says. 
what has been done? Transnational corporations. Look at 5G. Look at that rollout. Look at the telecommunication industry. The power and control that was handed to them and, well, it was greased by Trump. Our FCC hands over the sovereignty of states to the telecommunications industry. You can put them up anywhere and too bad for you, local governments, state governments, you have no say. Oh, and they also said, if you have those town council meetings, nobody can bring up health as an issue. Really? And everybody abides by it. You know, the adverse effects of electromagnetic frequencies. You can't, you can't mention those <laughs> health effects. Uh, that's pretty important, don't you think? Oh, but no, be silent. Okay. Uh, the corporations, it doesn't matter. What Trump says, it matters. What is happening, okay? So, yes, just 100 companies are responsible for over 70% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, but they want you to uh, control... Well, actually, you won't be controlling it. They will be controlling it. Your energy use. And they want you out of your car. And they want to get rid of cows because they fart. Do you ever hear anything about, hey, how about getting control over these companies, you know, to save the planet if it's really going to die off in 12 years. Why aren't we hearing about 100 companies responsible for 70 over 70% of the greenhouse gas emissions? No, you have to make all of the changes because you are responsible. You know, don't use those straws, plastic containers or, oh, shut off your air conditioning because uh, it's destroying the ozone layer. Oh, it's not the military I'm flying their supersonic jets through the ozone layer, ripping it to shreds. It's you using your air conditioner and forget about, you know, well, tilt your head back a little, look up. Ah, uh, yeah, no, not contrails, um, but something else that well, those lines that just don't go away and then they spread out. Filled with toxic chemicals and heavy metals. Nanoparticulates also destroying the ozone layer. Let's not talk about that. All right. Technology. Giant tech firms enjoying monopolies. Well, on search, social media, all the more. Controlling. Well, what you're going to be seeing, like Google, okay. Pharmaceutical companies, so powerful, they spawn entire health crises. Uh, energy companies, so powerful, they can predict climate crises decades in advance. Well, yeah, this study. But what it's pointing out is very few now control the world. Control the world. Control our information, what information we get, and they control our reality. CIA, CFR, work together to destroy truth. The mainstream corporate media is controlled by the Council on Foreign Relations. Over the last four decades, mainstream media has been consolidated from dozens of of competing companies to only six. Six. It's amazing to me that I, I had friends who knew that uh, mainstream media had been taken over and only six 
uh, well, corporations owned all media and they continued watching media and believed everything. 90% of all media is controlled by very few people, giving Americans the illusion of choice, top journalists and executives from all major media companies are integrated into the CFR. Yes, they are indeed. Here they are. Big time. So, you might want to click on the link below. And they're all either members of CFR or they are directors at the CFR or they have a husband or wife that's a member of the CFR. The B is a Bilderberg member. Oh, but we're crazy, right? Bilderberg. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not going to get into it. it it's ridiculous. Um, the nation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another Amy Goodman. Democracy now. Um, Katrina Van der Heuvel. CFR member. It hurts. You know, the nation was one of the, one of my news sources. And, you know, you just see yourself getting betrayed over and over and over again. And you feel it. All of these people are, you know, oh, God, all of them. Now, I don't know their names. They look familiar, but Council on Foreign Relations, Bilderberg, and... You can go to number 38 down here, find out who they are. 38, Peggy Noonan, columnist. Yeah. Um, it's, man, these people. And T is Trilateral Commission. Yep. And they play the game, you know, the divide and conquer game, the tension game the conflict game and they get Americans all worked up to fight one another you know it's amazing I mean CNN is so clearly CIA uh, it's trilateral, trilateral commission Council on Foreign Relations 120 what the hell is his name I can't remember I can't remember anything anymore um, Judy Woodruff. Oh, God, Judy. Yeah. Uh, Chris, uh, Christiane Amapur. Peter Bergen. David Gergen. God. George Will. All of these people are giving you what the Council on Foreign Relations wants you to know. It's all controlled all controlled. It doesn't matter if it's Fox, doesn't matter if it's CNN, doesn't matter. Washington Post does not matter. The, the Time Magazine, um, New York Times, NBC does not matter. Wall Street Journal, Fox News, Bloomberg, um, Foreign Affairs, FT I think is Foreign, oh Financial Times. Um, daily news and just because oh and Google Eric Schmidt of course yes and Google workers and Facebook the Daily Beast ah AP USA Today Vice Marvel <laughs> Marvel the New York Review of Books all these sleazy, lying sacks of shit. Man. HBO, Warner Brothers, Time Warner. Yep, they create our reality. I think it's time that we create our own reality, which is based in truth, 
I don't know, call me crazy. So, uh, yeah, uh, American War Machine, Deep Politics, the CIA, Global Drug Connection, and the Road to Afghanistan, Peter Dale Scott's book. Um, I would read it, documents the connection between the CFR, the CIA, the National Security State, Wall Street bankers, um, goes back to the start of the CIA, Alan Dulles, uh, Charles Burris wrote, um, it was when well this is just excerpts from the book but our nation does indeed have like its British cousins across the pound, pond an establishment complete with its own theological canon and doxology of statecraft and spycraft its Vatican is the Council on Foreign Relations its primary source of treasure and alms has been the Morgan and Rockefeller financial empires which created the Fed the great enabler of the welfare warfare state many of its elite seminarians have studied at Ivy League institutions such as Harvard Princeton Columbia Yale where they are initiated into skull and bones uh, the cabal, cabal of financial overlords, as Scott might have it, congregated at the CFR, which is responsible for the news we consume daily, often without question or suspicion. Okay, um, I'll link below to this article. You can read more. You could read, yeah, back, way back in 1915, how it was... Um, here, J.P. Morgan interest, the steel shipping, uh, shipbuilding and powder interest and their subsidiary organizations got together 12 men high up in the newspaper world. This is back in 1915 and employed them to select the most influential newspapers in the United States and sufficient number of them to control generally the policy of the daily press. They found it was only necessary to purchase the control of 25 of the greatest papers. An agreement was reached. The policy of the papers was bought to be paid for by the month. An editor was furnished for each paper to properly supervise and edit information regarding the questions of preparedness, militarism, financial policies and other things of national and international nature considered vital to the interests of the purchasers. What is of interest to the moneyed people, that's what you read. And of course the CIA's effort to consolidate and expand their hold on media tightened in the 50s. Operation Mockingbird, which I'm sure a lot of you know about uh, and it was that Operation Mockingbird was to put into uh, mainstream media publications or news network shows and then cable uh, CIA agents to control the information so I will link below to this document, uh, which is right from CIA.gov, and it is the Task Force Report on Greater CIA Openness. And here's the media, right, current program, establish relationships with reporters from every major wire service, newspaper, news weekly, and television network in the nation. Yes, they have control, full control. And it's not only in the United States, it's all over the world. So, uh, it's hard to get this through to people that they are lied to on a daily basis. You even tell them, yeah, it was Obama who signed that national um Authorization Act that repealed the Smith Munt bill, which meant, which was the uh, legislation that prohibited the use of pro propaganda against Americans. Why did they repeal it? 
they repealed it because, well, they wanted to make it legal for themselves to lie to you. All right. All links are below.